I mean, the end result's the same. It's just if you do it on a manual machine, something that takes you 10 hours to do manually, you can do on a computerized CNC machine in an hour. I mean, just think when these were built, what they were, it was the, it was like rocket science. It's, uh, it's actually really simple. It's just, if you can try to reduce hours gotcha. and the labor involved in them, because that's really what these things are all about. It's because about labor. <laughs> That's a brand new piston and all these segmented rings are all brand new and the rod and the nut and everything is all uh, all brand new. Yeah, okay. there's a few things that we're, you know, you, you kind of use more modern technology on, you know, like the brake shoes and stuff. We're looking at some more modern stuff, but it's really about, yeah, simplifying a process, modernizing the process. Yeah, oh yeah, it's all the same. The parts come out the same. I mean, it's uh, everything's exactly the way it was built in 1925. So it's all 100% the same, basically. There's a few odds and ends that are different, but the locomotive for the most part is... It's the, like rebuilding Grandpa's axe with a new handle and a new axe and everything. It's, it's still Grandpa's axe, and even though the material might be different for the head and the, and the handle, and it might the curvature might be a little different and all that. Still Grandpa's axe. You know, if there was ever a fire again, which we obviously had once here, you know, so what we did is we worked out a trade with the Colorado Railroad Museum for some spare parts we had that they wanted, and they took these all up to their library, and they scanned every one of them, and so now we have them all digital.